it's really annoying. I can't get into it right now. See that over there? That's a 4G tower. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with my phone. I mean, I'm pretty happy with mobile internet. I can, you know, watch YouTube videos when I'm on the train. I can listen to Spotify. Five G is going to give us the internet of things. I mean, it's a really strange name and I guess the person who came up with that must have been the biggest geek ever. But the Internet of Things is really, really important. What it means is that in the future, billions and billions of devices are going to be connected to the Internet, from your fridge to your, your car. They're all going to be connected to the web. And that means that your fridge, for instance, could order you milk when the milk runs out, and your car could drive you automatically to work without you having to drive. In order to do that, you need a reliable internet connection, and that's what 5G is about. It's not about speed, it's about reliability. If you have billions and billions of devices connected to the internet, you need a reliable connection, and 4G can't provide that. This is going to be a massive industry. It's going to have a huge impact on lots and lots of companies across all sectors. It's going to make things like industrial automization an actual reality. It's also going to change the way we live our working lives. So this is an incredibly important technology for those that provide the infrastructure. You've got these companies that provide these income producing telecom towers. These companies are already benefiting tremendously from the rise in demand for 4G. So you can imagine what's going to happen when 5G comes about. So why do we need 5G anyway? Well, it's very simple. We're entering the information age and what 5G will do is provide us with the infrastructure to make that possible.